Bam. Yes, Bam indeed. You would be right to say Bam because we're back in Denmark, the Bam land. <laughs> That's my and, introduction. Uh, yeah, good. And You're with me. Norway soon to join us. Right, yeah, so we've got a quick checklist that we were going through on a ski lift two days ago. Um, but So we've got, yeah, Sweden's on our checklist of things to do. Um, it is now a Jew... It's a vassal under Russia. Sweden's liberty desire is zero percent. We need to support independence. All up in there. Uh, I don't know how we do that, but we'll find out. We also have Pskov. This isn't in ascending order. This is starting off with Sweden and then sort of moving around until I see things on the screen. We've guaranteed yeah. Pskov, and we want to keep them ours, or at least independent, because it's hilarious and fun. Um, Russia already owns a uh, province to the south of it. Poland has snaffled up two <laughs> um, parts of Pskov. Finally, we've got Norway... No, not finally. We've got Norway about to integrate so, so soon. Hopefully this episode. Which will mean we get Iceland. Which will mean we can start colonising next to our, yeah. our mates, Lanster. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a Northern Irish accent? I don't know. You didn't sound depressed enough. <laughs> oh, darn. That's the last people we hadn't offended. Darn and Lanster. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, we hadn't offended the Irish, so now we have. The Ottomans are being massively occupied by rebels. There is a lot of shit going on in the Holy Roman Empire. There's lots of infighting and stuff. We had just taken Lubeck, which is great. Um, we've got our eyes on Pomerania, okay. haven't we? But we that's have, a longer think, game yep. thing. And I also want to start kicking the shit out of Britain. Oh, and we also have that claim on a province over in India, he says, looking over at South America. Mm. Uh, I can't remember which one it was now. Oh, let's press E. There it is. Srikakulam. We have a claim on this province. Cool, so we, we will have to fight Orissa for it. Uh... <coughs> now that should be really easy. When we get, when we get over there. When we get over there. Oh, sorry, this is the thing in India we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Sam Kakalam. Oh. What was it? <laughs> is that... Is that... Srikakulam. Is that at all possible? Oh, we'll manage it eventually, I'm sure. We can colonise <laughs> bits of places and things. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah, okay. One day. <laughs> One day. One day we'll be global. Just like our trade. So, we've got this going. We could just unpause, get it moving. I'm up for that. We can purchase an ability. Someone told me that the religion-enforced edict, um, we can just buy it, and then we can turn it on and off like a regular edict. Yep. So, <laughs> I've clicked it to get some points at the end of the game. <laughs> and get rid of the, uh, the thingy. Right. Let's pause it. <laughs> oh, dear God. Right, so, Austria has announced us as their new rival. Thanks. And is demanding unlawful territory, which is Liebeck, apparently. Oh, declining this will have the following effects. Local unrest plus 10. Crap, tax, and manpower. My goodness, how long does that last for? Well, <laughs> decline, obviously. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, we'll need to keep an eye on that, I think, with our troops. So here's one thing. I'm looking at the Imperial map mode. Yeah. And we have four provinces that are in the Empire. Okay, let me get up that. Yeah. I think there is a, a thing to, that we can click to just just take those out of the Empire, right? A button's click to say these are no longer part of the Empire. Yeah. Oh, so I think we have to make them into cores and then we can remove yeah. them. Right, okay, that would make sense. Um... Um, yes, we... Oh, no. I don't know if we can just remove them oh, like that. We but... can't do it while we're in a truce with the Emperor. So if, if for example, you clicked on Dithmersion, yes. Dithmersion, um and <laughs> looked on the left underneath Autonomy, oh you'll see God. a little Empire-looking button. Ah, Return Province. But it's not possible to remove provinces from the HRE while in a truce with the Emperor. Okay. It would really upset the Emperor, <laughs> but... I'm wondering if that's <laughs> that ship has sailed. <laughs> no, maybe. I've, well, they've just announced us as their rival, so I don't think it matters too much. Exactly. So I reckon minus two hundred. Core everything we've got. Excuse yep. me, listeners. I'm just uh, eating some strawberry laces. Classic. Um, 
and then yeah, as soon as our classic Michael. our truce is over, I reckon we just take everything out. All right, and our cores are currently working. I don't know where you see those. Stability and expansion, right? Manage Make over extension. There we go. You right, can use so the production interface if you want. Cool. So Lubeck and Stada are both coring. Yep. Um, Holstein is that still part of the empire? Apparently. It is. It is. So we'll want to do that at a later date. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Hmm. Shall we have a mission? Yeah. I'll give you permission to take a mission. Remove Friesland from the map. That sounds nice. Oh, wait. They're a free city in the Holy Roman Empire. Who'd have guessed? Our manpower reserves need to recover. That could be nice. Um, yeah, that doesn't even take too long, does it? Wouldn't have thought so. And then there's Vassalized Pskov. Yeah. Um, well, we're not going to vassalize Pskov, are we? What was our situation with them? They would accept vassalization. Oh. All we need to do is offer them an alliance, and they'll they'll do it. Oh well, that's tempting. Why aren't we do? Ah, because of our four out of four diplomatic relations. Exactly. Norway is about to disappear, of course. Oh, of course. All right, let's take that mission and then vassalize them. Cool. Oh, hang on. Um, what? I think this is fine. So we we need to have a relation of at least plus one hundred and ninety with them. Um, so if we took a royal marriage and an alliance, we'd probably be close. But I don't know if we'd be quite there. So we might need to improve with them for a while. But should we take the mission anyway and see what happens? Take the mission anyway. Yeah, and we can we can improve. I'll start improving. Great. Improve relation, mon. Go. Um, I think. Us getting an alliance with them would improve their opinion of us massively anyway. Cool. Come on, Norway. Don't you mess this up now. And what else we've got to worry about? We've got to worry about the Verdner separatists in Stad. Hmm. Um, so I've got our army at half maintenance. Let's put them back up to full. And then we can march I'm just down there. Offer an alliance now. Cool. Welcome to the fold, Skov. I mean, oh, sorry, I didn't mean cool. We've got too many diplomatic relations now. Oh, yeah, but only for a couple of months, right? <laughs> true. That's true. Let's get them before we... <laughs> before Russia gobbles them up. Exactly. Uh, it takes ages sending all these different diplomats. Yeah. I'll take a royal, royal marriage as well. <laughs> Great. I'll decline it then. <laughs> well, these rebels aren't rising then. Oh. It would seem. Come on. We could invest in a new idea. Additional merchants. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Additional merchants is our next idea. Oh, well, let's just take it, shall we? Nothing wrong with merchants. We're in a golden era, so it costs us less, so let's just get it. Right, mm. rebels have risen up in stud. Stud? Could you sort them out while I sort out our additional merchant? Or we could Excellent. turn the other way around if you prefer. No, no. You I'm sure? Going in. Are Come you on, absolutely Adolf. sure? Right, trade. I'll put that down for you. You sort them out. Um. Right, where are we going to send our additional merchant? Uh, the Baltic Sea. Let's descend to the Baltic Sea. Not sure why we don't have one there already. Great. We won. We lost two and a half thousand men. <laughs> I didn't tell Practically you to do that. Yeah, why didn't we have anyone in the Baltic? What do you mean? Well, we didn't have any merchants in the Baltic Sea there for God knows how long. Um, All right. Bizarre. Yeah. Oh, I know why. It's because it makes no difference, right? Let's take him out. Uh, recall him. So it was 29.55. Now it'll be on the next day. 
27.05. All right, so maybe it does help. I can't freaking remember. <laughs> Try again. 27.05. Next month. I'm just wasting three months while I uh, muck about with merchants. 28.65. Yeah, okay. Ah! Oh, they've accepted. We're there. They have accepted. Oh, oh, look at all the red. Look at all the red. Look at our 5,000 extra troops oh, they just beautiful. gave us for free. Which puts when us two over our limit. When a country gives up its independence to join a greater realm, there is a lot of adapting. And while some parts are easy, the administration of the realm will still need to expand to accommodate all possibilities. Integration is a slow process. Um, Certainly so we're going to have uh, three less diplomatic reputation for ten years. Ouch. Ah, well. It's a shame. Right, I've put the army maintenance off again. Cool, so we now have all of Scandinavia. Doesn't that mean yeah. we can... Hang on, don't we have a decision we can make now? No, afraid not. Oh, really? Well, remember, we could have done it ages ago because we had Agassiz, but we need some absurd level of uh, administrative technology. Oh, 20. We need 20, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Which is so why we... taking Agassiz really early was pointless. Yeah, we really didn't need to do all that, did we? Never nope. mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So now we've got a couple of free merchants. Um, diplomats. Yep. I might just improve relations with threatening countries <laughs> with one of them, and then we'll keep some, the other one free if you like. We've got some good in some good news. Yeah. The miracle of life. Oh. In these dark days of war and death, a reminder of new beginnings can ease the pains of our people. Our great Queen Christina II and her noble Prince Consort Christian have been blessed with another child. Oh. The arrival of the babe has brought new hope and energy to the royal couple and by extension to their court and subjects. Many people dream that this child will grow up in a better, brighter future and that all the fighting will thus be worth it in the end. We lose two war exhaustion. Oh, nice. And hopefully get someone who's better than Frederick de Trastamara. I've just remembered Frederick. Oh, yeah. Is he our... Is he Christina's son? Yeah. Mm. I'm tempted to disinherit him. <laughs> Again, I'm thinking I'm, I'm sure... Oh, that's right, yeah. I'm sure he gets more stuff when he gets older, right? That's right. I remember you saying that now. All right, well, we'll see. <laughs> Still shit when he's 18, for sure, just disinherit him. Yeah, well, by the time he's 18, we'll be 51, if we're even alive. We could abdicate. There's a thought. When we're Frederick. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just essentially kick out the king. <laughs> oh, now. Now, 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 now. Right, first thing. Now. Uh, yeah, so we've got Iceland. Oh shit, yeah. Now we should be able to I guess. Well should we should we Yeah. Go click up on um Eriksfjord or uh Vestbygden up in oh, yeah. Greenland. We can start colonizing there. Uh do we have a map mode? Is yeah, there is one somewhere. Map mode, colonial. Oh yeah, oh we can hit half the east coast of America. Holy crap. We can hit Panama. Panama? Oh my god. Yeah. Um, bits of Brazil, uh, <laughs> bits of Guinea. Holy crap. Oh, that's fantastic. Bits of Africa. Yep. West Africa, that is. But Africa, nonetheless. Can't get any further. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, where do you think? Oh, well, who knows? Um... Ah, uh, this is great. How do I uh, let's take a? I've, I've shortcutted the the colonial map mode. I can't remember how um, you do that. So we we could sit, you click on one of the um, one of the empty slots. I don't have any. Oh, <laughs> I guess you've already taken. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Um, yeah. So we we could sit ourselves right next to Leinster. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? There we go. 
What's the what? Danish Lower Acadia. We've already got some stuff. Norway. That's what Norway was doing, sodding off over to... Look, their culture, Norwegian. Catholic, yeah. boo. Right, so they... That's why we can frickin' colonise Panama. Kaspukvitka <laughs> is, uh, is a, a colony right now, and then the other two are just full-on Denmark. Oh, my God. So we've actually inherited... So that's why we can colonise so far. Brilliant. Okay, well... Should we... What should we do? Just build off from there? May as well um, have a big base, right? C could do. I, I'm trying to think. I don't really know how the whole thing works. Because uh, there's a big part of me thinks we should... Set, like, sow as many seeds as we can all over the place. Mm, we've got to um, defend those seeds, though. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm right, bitch. <laughs> so we could just just try and take a load of land around there in essentially Canada. Well, there's, there's plenty to take. Mm. And most of what's up here is just tribes anyway. I I'm mean, lovely thinking. tribes that we want to help. Panama would give us a Pacific border. Yes. I'm, I'm also thinking Panama. Fun. I mean, we could do two. We could, we could have two main staging grounds. We could go for Panama and... Um, oh shit, British Columbia though. Is, oh, is absolutely I'm massive. Columbia. <laughs> All right. Well, we wouldn't even be bordering them at the moment. Okay. Well, in that case, let's send our person down to um, Panama area because that seems to be wicked. Well, a wicked, but b it's somewhere we really need to go. Um, yeah. Sorry. What am I talking about? B. It's somewhere that we can start colonizing. Uh, because <laughs> it's running out, it's running out. There's less space there, um, whereas yeah, okay. Canada's not. Right. Whew. Okay, I'm looking at uh, Managua. Uh, where's Managua? It's the one with a massive fuck off lake in the middle of it. Oh, I see. Yeah, it touches both coasts, doesn't it? Hmm. Are you thinking that rather than Panama because it's a bit further from the British monster? Uh, currently, yeah. Although Panama would be amazing because. It's an important natural harbour, and it's amazing for trade. Basically, we, we can... Yeah, we, it's a trade node, um, which would serve important as well. Natural harbour. Uh. I like the look of important natural harbour. Yeah. Well, weirdly, yeah, I can't see it in the trade mode. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go there then. Panama. Click it. Send colonists to attempt to increase the size of your colony. Bam. Colonists will arrive in two-thirds of a year. Okay. It's a long trip. It's a long trip, but it's a worthwhile trip. I can't believe it takes that long. I mean, how slow are the ships? Yeah, good point. Niels Akalai. Yeah, he's... Well, yeah. The colonist Fadrique Fonseca from Haiti is working in Panama. Oh, crap. That means Haiti might be trying to colonise it. Oh ho ho! I don't we'll know what see happens. Yeah. Where do they come from? Like in this game, were they just a their own continent? Their, their, their own country? Yeah, I guess it's independent. Culture Castilian. They're allied with France. Maybe they split off from Castile. Oh, do you think? Don't know. Province history in Azua, for example, was discovered by Castile. Yeah, was discovered by Leinster. Was annexed by Castile. Right. Okay. So I guess it was a sort of. <laughs> I guess it was just some sort of independent province, and then Castile came along and <laughs> fucked it all up. Yeah. Bremian separatists. Right. So Lubeck's going to have an uprising soon. Do, 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 do. Lithuania's buggering oh, about. Was annexed by Haiti in on the second of ah. August, fifteen twenty-eight. Okay. God, not hundred percent sure what's going on. Claire says hi. Hi, Claire. 
You're famous now. Three people know someone's name. <laughs> right, so what else were we going to do then? We're going to send him there to do some colonisation, which should be fun. Uh, he's going to arrive in 40 days. Let's watch that. And then we can decide what we're going to do. There's 2,000 yeah. natives there. Crap, maybe we should send a <laughs> ship over. With some troops, just to keep it... Keep it safe. Um, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at uh, oh, shit. Acadia. What's uh, happening? Right, so we... We've got it now. Panama, Denmark. Neil's yeah. Akalai is building a colony there. Each month he will have an 18% chance to increase the population by 25. Average of 54 people per year. A thousand is needed to create a city, which I think means it's a proper settlement. A proper uh, province. Like a bit of Denmark. Yeah. Cool. Well, a colonised then... colonized bit. Yeah. Um, so at some point you you can do this thing, can't you, where you turn it into like a proper colony? Yes. Um, I don't remember how you do like that. Where it's like a partner. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember how you do that. But we'll 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 find that. Okay, so should we, should we send some troops down? That actually, I don't think we can yet. There's no. It's not even properly colonized yet. Let's leave it for now. Go. Sure. Oh. Nervous. Uh oh, cash for honours. Uh oh. <laughs> Sale of titles. My lord, one of your advisors has suggested selling off titles of nobility to anyone Ooh. who could afford to pay. Oh dear. It could bring in a lot of money and open a way for social advancement for the rich if we do. But it would devalue the idea of nobility and perhaps upset the existing aristocratic families. Should we do it? What's your first thought? My first thought is no, because, you know, letting the wealthy buy whatever they want. Mm. In terms of power, mm, not sure about that. Well, now consider who you want to piss off more, the nobility <laughs> or the burgers. Okay, let's have a you're look gonna, at that. You're going to piss off one of them to the tune of ten loyalty and in increase the other by the tune of ten loyalty. Ooh. Nobility or the burgers, huh? Mm. Loyalty, huh? Mm. Um, well, the nobility could be pissed off. They'd be fine. Uh, I'd rather not piss the burgers off as much. Cool. So we could could help help the burgers out and give yeah, them a load of titles. And tell and the nobility that no, they... Forty ducats in the process. Yeah, that sounds good. And nobility, tell them that they can't. Fuck off. Done. Brilliant. Although nobility's loyalty hasn't dropped. Look again. I did. It's just the burgers that Looks went up. To me, up. like they have, they were on. Uh, when they, they were on forty-nine. 50. Oh, of course the, they were. Yeah, they were on sixty. Sorry, yeah. Fine. Ooh, Sweden's starting to claim. Right, let's let's support Sweden's claims to independence. How do we do this? Hmm. We can't do it while Sweden have a truce with uh, Russia. Okay. Which we'll have for another two years. How do we tell where it says that? Look at Sweden's diplomatic inf interface. Yeah. And you'll see a list of wars oh, they're in. Support independence. List of truces. Sorry, I was trying to find support independence button. Oh, okay. Yeah, near the top. Alright, cool. Well, we'll do that. Um... I don't know what we can do against Russia to, you know, screw them up. No. Oh, but what I can now tell you is that uh, <laughs> Admiral Fritjof <laughs> Knudsen will no longer serve us. I know, that's sad. Not too worried about that, but we can offer Pskov vassalization. Ooh, I was just it immediately. clicking on that. Well, let's do that. We've got the, we've got the thing, haven't we? They look pretty happy about it. Yeah. Offer vassalization. Go. Confirm. Yeah, lifetime vassals. We now get half their monthly tax incomes. And Aye. we've got a mission. Woohoo! Colonize Sipek Nakatik. F. <laughs> Sipek. You took the word right out of my mouth. 
Oh, it's the it's the one next to Danish Lower Arcadia. I keep reading that as Danish Lover Arcadia. Danish Lover Arcadia, I like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's not really that important at the moment, is it? That was a nice place to to take, though. Will be. Certainly will be. Our new mission. I mean, we could colonise Sikapakaka, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, ha I, I guess our our one colonist is sort of doing some stuff at the moment, isn't he? Yeah. But that looks more sensible than the other two. Yeah. yeah I'd like to keep this, the colonist where he is. <clears throat> Whoa. I think having the colonist there means that... Yeah, he, we don't really want to recall him, otherwise natives might uprise, and also uh, it won't turn Danish anywhere near as quickly. Uh-oh, what's happened? <laughs> we have a successful bureaucracy, so oh, that's fine. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> an empire this size needs a lot of bureaucrats, Steve. So I perhaps bet it does. offering a sign-up bonus will encourage their numbers to grow. Um if we do this, we could get uh, another 50 administrative power, mm. but it will cost us nearly 500 ducats. <laughs> Great. 50 and administrative power for otherwise. 500 ducats. Yep. Oh, and we kind of do have money to burn here, don't we? Mm. The only thing I was looking at for spending our money on would be embracing global trade. It's going to cost 1,500. Okay. But that's not going to take long. Let's go for the power. Yeah, let's get it. Fuck it. Great. We're way behind on takes. admin everything at the moment anyway, so... Exactly. Whatever it takes. God, that's expensive, though. Hmm. Do, 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 do. So, well, we can embrace our Icelandic identity. <laughs> <laughs> but only if we have fewer than four cities, and we currently have 76. <laughs> what? Embrace Icelandic identity. Circumstances have conspired to make our Icelandic holdings the foremost part of our country. Let us embrace this new identity as an Icelandic country and strengthen the local institutions, entrenching our own rule over the island. Why would we want to do that? I guess it means we become Iceland, right? That's weird. Yeah, country changes to Iceland. It makes sense, I guess, if if we like lost all of our territory and ended up just on Iceland. Yeah. With two cities on there and nothing anywhere else, we we could change to Iceland. Could we? Carry on playing a different way. <laughs> Price of coffee has changed. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. Good stuff. For a long time, the coffee plant was <laughs> closely guarded by Arabs who held a monopoly on coffee production. You sound like you've been living in somewhere that speaks French, or you visited a French place recently. Ah, oh, sorry, I fucked that up. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Uh, we also have some other stuff. A native assimilation in Kespukwit. <laughs> wow. Some of the local natives have been assimilated into the colony's population. We have a lot bigger faith in the feasibility of Kespukwit. Oh, that's a nice event. How many did it we is. get? A hundred. Uh, I can't remember now. It looked like it just bumped up from 608 to 708 there. That's good, so that's getting us a lot closer. It's a normal winter in Kespukwiktk. <laughs> oh shit. Age of absolutism. It's the age of absolutism when all the objectives are hard. <laughs> when you try and get three trade companies and you then try to buy multiple universities it is the age of absolutism <laughs> when the potential for a large army costs only 750 splendor <laughs> wow okay as governments wrest the absolute power in their countries from other parties they are now able to devote themselves to the building of empires <gasps> this is the age of the state of rulers and their armies enables the absolutism mechanics. So I'm assuming that means we're going to start seeing some empires rise up. Mm. Which is exciting. Ooh. Got loads of objectives there. So this is another thing we have to embrace, is it? Um, no. No, this is this is what we spend, spend our splendour on. Oh, yeah, okay. So we've got new stuff. 
new stuff. So, yeah, we can we can buy loads of stuff with our splendor later on. Cool. Could be fun. Um, center of Reformation disappears due to the religious conversion of Holstein. The Pro Protestant center of Reformation in the province has disappeared. What? I saw that. I mean, it's Protestant. Um. Try clicking go to and tell me where it goes to. Oh, it goes to Vratislav. Yeah. Hey, Scarlet. It does, doesn't it? Ooh. Interesting. I think we might have hit a bug there. I think we might have. Um, yeah, that is a Center of Reformation. Oh, well. Um, Hellstein is a Center of Reformation. Isn't it? But it also says it's being converted to Protestant <laughs> by a nearby Paradox. <laughs> they don't call themselves Paradox for nothing. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> right, turn Kespuktwik into a city. Um, mm. Is now a mission, which is quite fun. Sounds sensible. We'll be there soon anyway, won't yeah, we? Yeah, should we just do that? Yeah. I can't remember what the reward was. Gain one base production in Kespuk Twik. Kes Kespuk Vik. Once, once it's a city, can we give it a new name? Yeah, should we rename all of them up there? I'm not crazy about Eskikewaki. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these, these do make sense. I'm sure they're legitimate, like, local names of things. Are they but... Danishified? Uh, they're Norwegian. Okay. <laughs> Lubeck is now considered a part of our patrimony. Would you like to click the beautiful button that makes it a definite core? Oh, where do I do that? Oh. We can't. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, w should we rename some of these now? Yeah, why are there two things we can rename? Uh, one of them is... Oh, God. One of them's... What is it? One of them's the city there, and one of them's <laughs> Placentia. What the fuck? Um, yeah, so if you click on London, for example, it's London. Um, oh. There's Oxfordshire, has Oxford. Lincolnshire has Nottingham. So it's okay. the capital city name there. Yeah, so the top one which is, is the usually name the same. Of the area. Yeah. So we could leave the city name as Eskikawakik. I don't like that either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning it into Gertrude Snarkins. Excellent. <laughs> We've got to have a Gertrude Snarkins. There we are. Yeah, it's easy to pronounce. Oh! Why has it changed back? There we go. Ah, oh, it keeps on flicking. That's horrible. Let's unpause it. Gertrude Snarkins. Not changing for me. There we are. Okay, great. Gertrude Snarkins. Ah, oh, it keeps changing oh, back. No, it's gone back. <laughs> We're going to get the you are out of sync message soon, aren't we? Do you want me to change it? No, it's oh, all right. No, is there again? We'll leave oh, it no, as change back again. Gertrude Snarkins. See what happens. I'm sure, it'll be fine. Right. Pskov. Oh. Our royal marriage with Bohemia has ended. We need that back pretty fast. Yes, please. There we are. Oh, good. Yay. Phew. Um. What else have we got to do? Ooh! So, do you remember this whole disputed succession thing? Hmm. And we've got France. Let's have a look at the French succession. She's 52. Queen Catherine de Medici. Catherine. She's 52. And she has no heir. On monarch death, a French noble succeeds to the throne. My ass, does it? Maybe we need to have more uh, more prestige than them. I'm sure that has something to do with it. Or maybe a royal do marriage. Do we need a royal marriage with them? Uh, yeah, I think we probably do. Ugh. Should we get one? <laughs> well, it'll take us over the cap. It's true. Well... Let's end the episode here, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll talk about, about that next time. Yeah, see you then.